Hi Alex here from Irish Football Fan TV. I'm here with Darren Murphy, head of uh, Fans Voice TV. Darren, what are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, it was a good enough uh, game to watch. I suppose I like watching live games there. Um, nil all, we didn't get to see the goals. We got to see some good football. Um, Derry, decent football team. Uh, Cork City, probably the better side tonight for me. And uh, uh, created more chances. Yeah, I, I thought Barry McNamee played well, well against his uh, old team. What was your opinion on him? Yeah, Barry, he was all right. I thought it. I thought he'd be a bit better than that. I thought he'd be a bit, um, bit sharper. Maybe a bit, needs a bit of fitness. Uh, I thought like uh, the number six. I don't know his name now. In in Derry's team, in the middle of the park was decent. Um, all in all, I suppose Cork City. If you're looking at standout players, uh, Dan Max is it the Dan Casey? The, or, sorry, Dan, Dan Casey. Dan Casey. Yeah. Dan Casey. Centre half was brilliant tonight. He's probably man of the match for me. Um, your Horgan there coming on looks exciting. A uh, couple of lads up top, I, I think they're still kind of gelling as a team at the moment, and they need to kind of, you know, figure out what sh what the shape is and what what way they're playing and stuff like that. Yeah, so myself, I thought that they were missing that that edge up top, you know, looking for a goal. You know, they brought on Dan Smith now, and and uh, he still looks a bit shit, like he's not match fit yet. You know, he might get amongst the like he scored a couple of goals at Bognor Regis, I think, over in England. Um, what were your thoughts on Daryl O'Connor? Yeah, Dara's Dar good when he gets the ball. I'm not sure about him being a kind of winger and the way Cork City play. I think he's more of a number 10 turning with the ball. Looks exciting though when he gets on it. Um, looked exciting there against Waterford. I was watching that game as well. Again, like his first couple of games of the season, it's kind of you're figuring out your team. It's going to be kind of ropey and stuff like that. It's, it's rare like teams get off to a flying start. But for me, uh, Cork City were the better team tonight. Derry very lacking fitness for me at the end towards the end and as I think if you're coming down to games or league games like that and you're looking for a draw they were looking for a draw there I mean the manager was telling them slow it down yeah, and stuff yeah. like that and for me that's 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 not a winning team like mm. you, you, you got to push on I'd rather come down with a loss and try try to score you know what I mean yeah, instead yeah, of taking yeah. a draw don't believe in that but then again that's just me so what do you think do you think Cork City can challenge this year or do you think they're missing that man up top you know to bang in the goals I think if you give Cork City maybe another 2-3 games I think they'll 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 step it up they'll be quality again there's a lot of strikers come in there's a lot of new players come in a lot of new roles uh, players left and again it, t it takes time for a team to gel like you know like I mean Liam Nash up top he, he looks like he's good he looks like he has it but again he still looks like he needs a couple of games I don't think he played much at Chillingham last season and he still needs what's your opinion on that yeah it's tough again you're coming into a new side got to figure out the way lads are playing and you know from, from training it's it, games are always going to be different than training uh, I think they'll come good I, I just look, they look exciting on the ball look like they're well able to hold it up and that's kind of the main things really and finally with fans voice how, how's that going for you how did you uh do you have anything planned for the next couple of weeks? Yeah, not really enjoying it. Doing a podcast at the moment. Um, if, so if any of you are out there, <laughs> get on FETV's podcast. Check it out. Check, Check it out. It's on Spotify, iTunes, Anchor, uh, Google Podcasts. Yeah, we're really enjoying it. It's it's just a bit of crack. Uh, ex pros like you know talking about the game and getting our opinions out there. But the main thing is a lot of fans are kind of interacting with us and giving us their opinions and asking questions. And you know we're at the comment and give our kind of inputs and our stories and 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 that's it's just enjoying it. Yeah, they're fantastic podcasts. You should all definitely have a look at that. Anyways, thanks a million, Darren. Yep, Make sure no to worries. subscribe and to check out Darren's uh, Fans Voice podcast. He also has a YouTube channel, yeah. We have a YouTube channel, yeah, but the podcasts are on the on on the podcast apps and stuff like that. Make so sure yeah. to check out the Facebook as well because there's great coverage of the Munster Senior League as well. He, I've seen you had a couple of highlight videos from the last couple of games, the Mayfield and Douglas Hall game and stuff. Yeah, trying to get out there local football again. I love going out watching games. I love uh, so why not kind of promote it as much as I can, you know? Yeah, perfect. Thanks, Dan. No worries. Cheers.